The last time I saw Ursula Corbero in a live action show, she was Robin Banks with The Professor. Now she's on the other side of the law. Well, sort of. It's the new Netflix limited series, Burning Body. Now, this is based on real events, and Netflix even released a documentary about this at the same time as the series. So who's going to be watching? And should you be? The charred remains of police officer Pedro are found inside a burnt-out car, and the discovery quickly arouses the public's interest, especially when the investigation begins to reveal a network of toxic relationships, deceit, violence, and sexual scandals involving Pedro and his two fellow police officers, his romantic partner Rosa and her ex-boyfriend Albert. Now, this limited series is made up of eight episodes that are each about 45 to 50 minutes. Let me just tell you up front, it's way too many. The series is at least two, if not three episodes too long. So I'm not going to take an exorbitant amount of time with this review. Now, the beginning of it is a little mysterious because we don't know how a former police officer ended up toasted in the back of his car. But pretty quickly, we learn that Ursula Corvero's character of Rosa and her on-again, off-again, not-so-secret lover Albert are most likely involved. Now, as Tokyo in La Casa de Papel, Corbero is one of my favorites of that series. Here, she's mostly unlikable as a character. Rosa's narcissistic, but not overtly so, at least at the beginning. She's cunning and manipulative, and Correro does just this wonderful job at switching personas depending on the character she's with or the action that she needs carried out. Quim Gutierrez plays Albert, and while he's been in several things, for me, I most recently saw him in the canceled Netflix's greatest American hero-like Spanish comedy El Vecino. Now here, as Albert, he's arrogant and hot-tempered, typically letting his passion get the best of him throughout the story, which also makes him a good match for Rosa because she pretty much does the exact same thing. The series does a lot of ping-ponging back and forth in the timeline, but it's slow. And I mean excruciatingly slow, just inching us towards the finale. But because we know what crime was already committed, the real payoff is the investigation and then the subsequent trial for the murder. Now, even though it does take way too long to execute, the series does an excellent job at showcasing Rosa's personality through the way she just chews through relationships. Now, this in itself, it isn't a reason to shame her or even be suspicious of her, but it does showcase how she's restless and searching for lasting love. Now, the thing that adds so much time to the series is how much of Rosa's relationships we watch play out. Some is certainly necessary to understand the character, but because we watch her with her first husband, then with a lover, then back with her husband, who then becomes her ex, and then we watch dysfunctional relationships with another lover while also getting it on with Albert, just that back and forth, it gets tiring and then very uninteresting. And there are flashbacks over flashbacks, making it a bit confusing sometimes to figure out what timeline we're actually witnessing with the repetition creating a very monotonous pace. Now, more linear storytelling would have not only made the narrative straightforward and not convoluted, but it also would have shaved off a ton of time. Now, final two episodes focus on the ensuing trial, and while we get a bunch more flashbacks here, a lot of details are also filled in. And even though we could infer most of them throughout, we do get somewhat of a concrete timeline, making the way that this portion unfolds contain some good emotional drama. Now, thankfully, the final scenes work to solidify what we've learned and even supposed about Rosa. And then the last little bit, oh, it's heartbreaking. Capping off a tumultuous journey with wildly flawed characters who are wowed and enthralled by their own passions. So overall, Burning Body tells an intriguing story of true crime, but takes exceedingly too much time to tell. Ursula Correro and Quim Gutierrez are engaging as passionate and hot-headed lovers with a penchant for violent thoughts. While the storyline is twisty and even defies belief at times, the repeated sequences and alternating timelines make for a frustrating and lengthy binge. Now, I haven't watched the documentary yet, but I have a feeling it may be more satisfying. At least it will be much shorter and probably get to the point much more quickly. There's a lot of sex and nudity, a bunch of profanity, and then a lot of violence. I give Burning Body two and a half out of five couches. So is there a true crime dramatization that you really like to watch? Let me know what it is in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.